finding a percent of a number. If you want to find a percent of a number, there's a couple ways to do this. Some things that we know about percents, we know, for example, if we have 25%, we know that we can write that either as a decimal or a fraction. To write this as a decimal, remember all you have to do is imagine where the, the decimal is already in the percent, which is after the 5, and you move it to the left two spaces. So 25% is the same thing as 0.25. Okay, to write 25% as a fraction, remember that the word percent, percent, means per hundred. Per hundred. It's a number out of 100. So to write 25 per hundred, you would write 25 over 100. And then you would simplify that. Both 25 and 100 are divisible by 25. So if we divide the numerator by 25 and also divide the denominator by 25, we'll get 1 fourth. So 25%, 25% can be written as 0.25 or 25 hundredths, or it can also be written as 1 fourth. Now, finding a percent of a number, we're going to use either the decimal or the fraction, and we're going to multiply it by whatever number we want to find 25% of. So if the question was find 25% find of 60, we would then multiply 60 either by 0.25 or by 1 fourth. And we can do both of them and, and show that you'll get the same answer. So let's, let's do the decimal first. So 60 times 0.25. Now remember, when we multiply decimals, you look at both numbers that you're multiplying and you count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. And you're going to add them up for both for both numbers that you're multiplying. So 60 doesn't have any numbers to the right of the decimal, but 0.25 or 25 hundredths does, and it has, it has two. So our answer is also gonna have two numbers to the right of the decimal. Okay, let's do our multiplication. Five times zero is zero. Five times six is 30. And then we bring down a zero, and two times zero is zero, and two times six is 12. Now we add 300 and 1,200, and we'll get 1,500. And then remember, the decimal has to, has to go in a spot where two of the numbers are to the right of it. So, so 60 times, 20, times 0.25 is 15. So 25% of 60 is 15. So that's how you would get that answer with multiplying, multiplying the decimal. Now let's multiply by the fraction. So 60, 60 times 1 fourth. Okay, now you, you may also remember that, that any whole number you can write as a fraction by just putting a 1 in the denominator. So you put a 1 underneath. And then you multiply straight across. So you multiply 60 times 1, which is 60, or 1 times 4 is 4. So you have 60 over 4. And now it's just a division problem. You, you can simplify. So 60 divided by 4. And if you're used to simplifying just by the numerator and the denominator, you can do that. Divide the denominator by 4 and the numerator by 4, and you'll get 1 in the den denominator. You'll still have to divide 60 by 4. So 60 divided by 4. 4 goes into 6 once, and 1 times 4 is 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, and then bring down the 0, and you have 20. So 4 goes into 20 five times. 5 times 4 is 20, and you don't have a remainder. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. So we get 15. And, and that's the same answer that we got by multiplying by the decimal. So that's how you find... That's how you find a percent of a number. You can either multiply by the decimal or by the fraction.
And in the next video, we'll, we'll see a couple other ways that, that questions may be phrased, and, and we'll look at some more examples.